And then if I pan around to my right is the Korean barbecue, which in the evening just gets filled up really, really full. The all people here at these tables with their pots of charcoal, cooking their food. And in the front will just be a ton of motorbikes. So we're here at the Korean barbecue. We're preparing our table. Very busy tonight. Oh, this is a Saturday night. Okay, so they brought two, two buckets of hot coal. And then they brought this grill that has a piece of fat in the center. It's made like a moat. And you're gonna cook on the dome part and you're gonna put water. You'll see how it is and then there'll be vegetables. And then there's a grill here. And the grill, of course, would just grill food. The girls have went up right now to pick out the raw shrimp and fish and beef, whatever it is that they're gonna cook. And they'll cook it on these pots of coals. It's pretty interesting. It's a lot of fun and makes for a very good social meal. There's Jib bringing the stuff back right now. So I went ahead and filled it up with water because they're busy. Mui has brought back some vegetable, mushrooms. Uh, I know there's over here we got, looks like squid. There's prawn down there. Let's watch as she prepares this. That'll start boiling in no time. Okay, we've got some sauces that just arrived to the table. dark here so it's hard to get good video but we'll do the best we can. Okay Mun's brought back some more sauces. So they're really loading up this this soup here because well one is they're gonna eat a lot but also it it cooks down. We've been out on the boat all day and uh, come back. They slept for a while. They were just really tired. She's gonna add some more water. Plates, utensils. May, she's an expert at this. She really loves to do this. Jib's now putting some prawn. Obviously, as hot as that is, they'll cook very quickly. So it looks like we got some mushrooms. We got some mushrooms and some greens. We got our piece of fat up there, which is gonna kinda keep the meat from sticking to the top up there. This is just looking delicious already. Okay, my beer has arrived. Some water. Get back over here to what Mae is doing. See if we can see her face. 
and she's got a plate. Looks like we got beef on there. And again, beef, because you can eat it medium rare, it's gonna cook very quick. Jib's over here, flipping these prawn. Looks like we might have some strips. I guess that could be pork over there, not sure. Prawn are coming off. I guess the smoke smoke is getting to her. And that's just repetitive at this point. You just keep piling on. I could start eating if I want, but I want to shoot the video uh, and try to get as much of this as I can because it's so interesting. So at this point, it looks like we were down to squid, and they piled some beef on the grill. Soup is looking good. She's adding some type of a sauce to make the broth more flavorful than just water. There's tofu in there, there's wild mushrooms, and there's greens. Okay, so we're getting a little bit of, just a little bit of rain here, but I'm still going to sit outside and eat. Okay, so now we got some clams or oysters. What are they? I'm not sure exactly what they are. It's kind of dimly lit here. The camera's actually showing brighter than what I can actually see. Uh, but either way, we got something on shelves cooking away, and there's a load of beef up there. I've already had some prawn, some beef, and some squid, some tofu, and just a little bit of fried rice. And it's absolutely delicious, everything. Obviously made fresh, because we cooked it ourselves. It's awesome. Okay, so the Korean barbecue was a big success. I had several prawn, squid, beef. Mei, she's still eating. Mei? <laughs> We had to refill our coals once. They bring it to the table and refill it for you. My first beer got too close to the pot and got hot. I had to get another one. It's collateral damage for Korean barbecue. Let your beer get too close to the coals. So you finish your meal with just a little bit of ice cream. I have, it's just a little bit of mint and a little bit of like a homemade vanilla chocolate chip, which actually tastes like our real old fashioned homemade ice cream that we make in USA. The mint I haven't tasted yet, but eat, eat just a little bit of it. Uh, if you eat too much, it's just overbearing. 
it's not, I like to eat just a little bit of ice cream at the end of the meal. She said, <laughs> she says it was very good. Very good.